What's up, PT Kids? It's Miss Jasmine. And Ava. And Azaria. And we are here to bring you week three of our series. I totally did six, but it's three <laughs> of our series. Attitude of, of gratitude. gratitude. Awesome. So before we get started, we have a riddle. Go ahead, Azaria. A man was outside in the rain without an umbrella or a hat. He didn't get a single hair on his head wet. Why? Because he was bald. Because <laughs> he, he was bald. Okay, awesome. <laughs> okay, so we've been talking about what it means to live in a way that shows thankfulness for everything. So today, we're going to go a step further with understanding an attitude of gratitude. We're going to talk about the how to show gratitude and why we should show gratitude to others. So, Azaria, what does gratitude mean? Gratitude means expressing thanks for someone or something. Awesome. And what do we say attitude of gratitude means? Ava? Living with an attitude of gratitude means that you live in a way that shows thankfulness for everything. Awesome. So this is what it means to live with an attitude of gratitude. So we've been talking about how the way we live can show thanks for who God is and what he has done. But today we're going to take action to thank those who have served around us or who serve around us. So people give their time and energy every day to serve you and me. So most of the time we don't see them or hear them or hear about them but it's still important that we take the time to say thanks for all they do. So let's take a few minutes to practice saying thank you in the ways that you might never have heard. So the ladies have practiced saying thank you yes. in different languages, and they're about to do it right now. Mm -hmm. So, all right, let's go. French. Merci beaucoup. Spanish. Gracias. German. Danke. Portuguese. Obrigado. Japanese. Arigato. Russian. Spaziva. Italian. Um, Gatsi. Swahili. Swati. There you go. I was confused. <laughs> Swati. Awesome job, ladies. That's that's not easy to do. Okay, so there are many ways to say thank you. Odds are that you just learned a few ways now that you can show an attitude of gratitude that we have the hearts that our hearts are thankful. So you learn some new ways. So you learn French, Italian, Spanish, Swahili. That's pretty cool. So now you can, you know, freak out your parents and your friends to say thank you in a different language. They're going to be really shocked, right? That you can speak a different language. So why do you think the phrase thank you is so special for every language, Ava? If you don't say thank you, you would be um, rude. Yes, you can be rude to not say thank you. Okay, Azaria, what do you think? And if you don't um, say thank you, you are not using your please and thank yous and you are not using manners. <laughs> yes, okay. You need to use your please and thank you. Awesome. So uh, does it feel good to hear someone tell you thank you? Yeah, yes. it feels yes. like you're getting Robux. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, yes, Robux. Feeling. I think uh, PT kids know what that feels like. Okay. So simply saying thank you is a good way to live with an attitude of gratitude. It's our way of honoring those who serve us. So the Apostle Paul spent most of his life telling others about Jesus and encouraging churches throughout the world, but he didn't do it alone. Paul was supported by so many people who prayed for him, fed him, housed him, traveled with him, and so much more. And Paul understood how important it is to show your gratitude. In fact, in Romans 16, Paul writes out the names of all the people who had helped him in ministry. He was grateful for these people and he wanted to honor them by saying thank you. So you can find his thank you letter um, later in Romans 16, 1 through 15. So each of these people loved God and wanted to tell others about Jesus. They were a great help to Paul in his ministry journey. Paul showed an attitude of gratitude by writing to say thank you to all those people. One by one, Paul mentions them by name and says thank you for all that they have done. And Paul doesn't stop there over and over in his letters to churches. Paul says thank you for the ways they helped him. So let's listen to some of these thank you notes from Paul. 
So Ava, uh, what did he write in 1 Thessalonians 3, 9 through 10? For what thanks can we render to God for you? For all the joy in which we rejoice for your sake before our God, night and day praying exceedingly that we may see your face perfect and perfect what is lacking your fa in your faith. Okay, thank you. And then what did he write in First Corinthians 1 through 4? I, th I thank my God always concerning for you you for the grace of God, which was given to you by Christ Jesus. Awesome. And in, in Ephesians 1, 16, he wrote, Do not cease to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. So these are just a few examples of many times that Paul said thank you to those who served him. Paul understood that it's not just enough to be thankful. We have to show that we are thankful. We should take the time to say thank you for the ways others have helped us. So write a letter, make a phone call. I don't know if uh, kids, I don't know if you know what writing a letter means, but you could still do it and put it in the mail. You know what an envelope is, a stamp? Okay. <laughs> so you can write a letter, you can make a phone call, and you can tell them in person, um, however you do it, just do it. So Ava, what is our, our main point for today? If you're thankful and you know it, show it. Yes. Okay. So as we get help from others, we need to take time to show our thankfulness. This is how we live with an attitude of gratitude. So as you go throughout your week and others help you each day, we want, to, we want you to remember, if, if you're, you're thankful, thankful and you know, know it, show it. it. Yes. Awesome. Okay. So we know that we cannot live our life by ourselves. We need help. We can't do things by ourselves, right? We need help. We need help from Jesus to have an attitude of gratitude. So uh, we are going to say our prayer of salvation and you can repeat after us. And after that, you are saved and you will have the help of Jesus Christ in your life to live a life of with an attitude of gratitude. Okay. So just repeat after us. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, I am a sinner. I am a sinner. Forgive me. Forgive me. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I believe you died. I believe you died. And rose again. And rose again. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. In your name I pray. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Awesome. If you said that prayer with us, you are saved. So we just finished week three. Woo! Awesome. Okay, so we got one more week coming up. But until then, we will see you later. Bye. Bye.